Okay. Finally, I am back. It's been out of town for a while and had some technical difficulties with my laptop. But I'm back, ready for action, and uh, just bringing a short video and sort of my kickstart to being back. Uh, this is a video I promised one of the people who left a, one of our viewers who left a comment in one of the videos, uh, asked if I could simply just show how to get the XYZ file or the crystallographic information file for carbon 60. And uh, so I figure I'll, I will do that and I will also just show one uh, how, to, how to go and get a crystal structure in general, or at least how I do it. So what I do is I open up a web browser and I then type in crystallographic uh, database. Then what I click is this top one that says crystallography.net. I click on that and then I come over here on the left where it says accessing uh, COD data. I press search. Okay, so today uh, we're going to find two crystal structures. We're going to find carbon 60 and we're going to find just something else. I don't know. Let's find. Um, uh, magnesium and oxygen. Okay, so you basically come here into the center where it says search. Uh, don't worry about all this other stuff. It's I've always found it's more trouble than it's worth. What you're going to want to do is just type in the elements you want and then the number of distinct, ele uh, distinct elements. So you'll type in two. Uh, this way that this way the crystal structures they show you are only magnesium and oxygen. If you didn't type this two here, say I did four, it would give you all crystal structures that are that contain magnesium and oxygen, and maybe like, oh sorry, if this is a zero, it would do that. So you wouldn't be able to put a four. But basically, what you want to do is you want to have this number be the number of elements you put here. Okay, if I were to leave this blank, it would show me all of the crystal structures possible that contain magnesium and oxygen. Okay. Got to get used to uh, making these videos again because it's very tedious. You don't want to say the wrong thing. Okay, anyways, so we're going to put a two here. Okay, and then let's press send. And it's going to show us like the formula, the space group, this FM3M. This is the uh, face centered cubic, the FCC, pack crystal. Uh, like you can see here, they have. Uh, cell parameters, the angles between each one of the uh, two axes, the cell volume, I think in angstroms, uh, and then they have the uh, reference, which is very, very convenient if you are doing research. And so let's uh, click on one of these, um, like right here. Okay, so you click on it, at least if you're using Firefox like I am, it's going to say uh, save file, or you save it here. And then what you do is you open Vesta. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this Firefox window over to the right and simply just drag the file in like this. So there it is. Now I have my crystal structure. And what you can do then is save the crystal structure. For example, you can like export it as a VAST file, uh, export it as an XYZ file. Uh, save it to your desktop and then you can just load it again. Um, that's it. That's that's literally all you do. Um, so let's go ahead and do this for carbon 60. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to go carbon and delete this. So we only want carbon, right? Because carbon 60 only contains carbon. So the number of distinct elements we have is one. So what we're going to do is press send. Okay, now, oh, here's carbon 60 here. We want to sort this by formula uh, because I don't think this necessarily is the carbon 60 we want. We want crystalline C60. Maybe it is. Okay, so here's all different types of carbon 60. So let's think about uh, which one we want. This one looks, I guess they all look good. Um, 
I personally think we should take uh, this one with a lowest cell volume here. Although another thing you could do is you could look up each one of these papers and see which one's the most highly cited because that would one, in my opinion, would have the highest chance of being correct. Um, but these these all look look pretty good. So let's go ahead and uh, download this to the file. Let's get let's see how this one looks. You can just drag it over here. It'll create a new window. So here, even though this is carbon sixty, this is not the carbon sixty I want. Right? This does not look good. So let's press Control W to get rid of this. Let's go back to our menu here, and let's keep searching. I think this FM31 is good in my experience. Let's go ahead and download this zip file. Okay, this one is good. This is the one we want. So how are we going to get carbon 60 from here? Uh, what you would then do, so this is bulk carbon 60. So if I were to expand this, and a bunch of directions, their dimensions, you would see that you can see the carbon uh, right there. So what I'm going to do is press A here. And I'm basically going to cut out the carbon. And I'm just going to isolate which carbon I want to cut. So I'm going to cut this one here. Oh, yikes, that's taking a while to delete those atoms. Okay, let's go like this. Just get some atoms out of the way. Okay, so you can see here now we have to be uh, we have to be pretty careful. So let's go ahead and delete these. So you're probably asking, okay, but once we get this, how do we, like, what's what's the point? So just give me one second. Okay, now what you would do is you would save this file as an XYZ and then use it in creating structures that need a buckyball. And I actually show this in a couple of videos. You should uh, check them out if you're curious and want to take this further. Uh, but in, in any case, this is how I go about obtaining crystal files. If you have a different way of doing it, uh, let me know about it. I'm always interested in finding new ways. Um, okay. So I'm happy to finally be back. Looks like I got everything working uh, with my streaming uh, or recording and my recording software. So um, I think what I'm going to do next is I might make a couple videos on computing absorption spectrum with quantum espresso, uh, maybe some other type of spectra. I will also uh, look into rotating. Um, graphing sheets and their orientation to each other. So, or maybe like you have a C60 on a graphene and you can rotate it uh, using VESA, of course, um, as well as doing other videos in uh, Quantum Espresso and IQ Mole. Uh, I think uh, I have a good series of maybe four or five videos um, I can be putting out over the next couple, over the next month or so. Uh, in any case, it's nice being back. Uh, take care, and I'll see you soon.